I did a lot of um, when it, when the RS1 was becoming less important, but we had a lot of courses. I did a lot more teaching of RS1 because they were taking people who hadn't. I mean, it weren't Joe Pierce, and when we were teaching, and so one time I was in. Boston or somewhere in the east, and you remember how in the Christ Lecture we would go behind somebody that had been very quiet and hadn't really participated and say, you're the greatest. Do you believe that? And so I picked this one guy, and I went behind him, and I said, you're the greatest. Do you believe that? I have no idea what his name was. Nine years later, a letter came from me here, and it said, I'm sure you don't remember this, but in this course, you came up behind me and said, you're the greatest. And I decided, after I went home, that's true. And I went back to school, and I've just graduated with my MBA, and I just wanted you to know that it's because <laughs> of you saying that to me that day. Mm -hmm. Now, how he knew my name, I have no idea, but anyway, mm -hmm. so that was another mm -hmm. Because it told me that the things we were doing, we thought, oh, that course was a failure or whatever. There were no failures. 